Um, you said that um, this, when a, one person in a married couple um, seeks to trans transition, it usually um, is the male and affects the female in that relationship. Um, do you have any numerical data on this or um, any evidence to back that up? Um, I don't have data um, to hand, but obviously same-sex marriage has only existed since 2014. Civil partnerships have existed a little before that, but just in terms of the numbers of... Uh, I think actually the, the um, tribunals and courts reports would probably be able to give that breakdown. We know that 11% of... Um, we know that 11% of applicants are, plus the 2% for the um, interim GRCs, are, are married or in a civil partnership. Whether or not the tribunal and courts um, reports break that down by sex, I don't know. I hope they do break it down by sex because sex, having sex data is really important for a question, to answer a question like that. Um, but generally women who when female to male transition with a gender recognition certificate um, my understanding is that that is an earlier age uh, earlier age profile and less likely to be um, in, in a marriage or civil partnership. Do you think you could send over some of those stats to back up that um, that point yeah, that you've I'll, included I, today? I will, yeah I will. Thank you. That. Um, uh, so my last question is again to you, Judith. Um, you also state that the spousal consent clause prevents applicants who wish to coerce or deceive a usually female spouse into continuing a marriage. What evidence do you have for this statement? And this is, is the same true for spouses of trans men? So I'm really thinking about, um, you know, the evidence at the time of the... Um, at the time of the um, same-sex marriage uh, coming into law, there was quite a lively discussion on this um, within the trans community. Um, and Stephen Whittle, who's already given evidence in this uh, to this pan uh, to this committee in a previous panel, uh, wrote some really interesting blogs about uh, about this subject, which I. I believe is um, quoted in that um, submission in which he describes the um, situation of um, basically perhaps you know in a state of denial um, a trans um, a trans person who is married not wanting to tell their not wanting to tell their spouse that they are that they're going to transition so and the coercion, I think, is a kind of, you know, the cultural expectation or the social expectation that the right and correct thing to do is for is for the wife to stand by her husband. Um, is that um, that creates a kind of coercive uh, sense in society, and then of course we know that you know, one in four women experience domestic abuse from a partner, you know, in their lifetime. So I don't think we can discount that. Um, in, term, in terms of statistics, I don't think that there is research on, on that, but I think there's definitely personal testimony. And I'm sure you will hear some of that um, from um, other witnesses. Thanks. So just to clarify, is the answer to that, you don't have any evidence to back up? that statement? No, um, there's evidence from Stephen Whittle who has described exactly that scenario of deception. There is evidence from individual women who've been in that situation um, who have described that scenario and then there is my own observation of the um, social and cultural context in which is pushes women into a particular direction. But um, what I said was, there's not good statistical evidence. Okay, and the same can't be said of trans, trans um, men, the spouses of trans men. 
So in, in that situation, um, I don't think that, I think the this is where sex matters actually. Um, there is most, um, when we think about coercive control, for example, that has to do with, um, has, to, has a sex dynamic. And so, although I don't think it can be excluded, I think it's, um, there it may be a different dynamic going on, but I think there are far fewer, um, there are far fewer relationships, there are far fewer relationships with a, with a trans man um, married at, or in a civil partnership and transitioning. Uh, sorry, do you have, is that what you've got evidence for though? Do you have evidence to back that up? I, I've already said I'll, I'll send the I'll send the stats. Okay, that'd be really interesting to see. Thank you very much. That's all my questions, Chair.